Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you on this Epson XP2100 printer how to reset the waste ink counters. A WIC. If your printer has a failure code on screen, this will be the WIC because all the LEDs, as you can see, are flashing. That means it's the end of the lifetime of your printer, like Epson told you. But this is not a, I think it's not the right solution. We can make this printer brand new by using the ink chip adjustment program. Of course, it's a software reset. The device itself will be not um, like new or will be not new anymore. It is only like new because we can delete the waste ink counters, WIC. We can reset the utility for apps and printers. Inkchip provides the best program to reset our printer waste ink pad counter. We, the only thing we have to perform is go to ink chip.net and there you can see the home page you can see the red light error solutions and you can see how you can perform this or where you have to download this program we just download this program the ink chip adjustment program and with the help of the reset code we are able to return our waste ink pad counter to the level of the zero position. It will take just a few seconds to reset our printer easily. You can see there are different kind of languages on the market. Turkish, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish and English. But before we continue, we have to switch on our printer and we have to connect the printer by using it print USB cable to USB cable to our personal computer. And then the next step is we are going into the Inkchip adjustment program. Let's run this app. And then we can see there is the waste ink counters. WIC. Oh yeah. And now let's perform a reset for the Epson printer. You can see there it is. Read waste ink counter or reset the waste ink counter. The first step is we read the waste ink counters. If there at your printer is 100% counter, that means you have to reset it. Otherwise, the printer will not work anymore. In my case, it's not so big, so it's only 0.53. So I should not to perform this or do I, I don't have to do that, but I will show you so let's go away. The next, thing, the next thing is we entered our printer, we get this software and now we have to get the key from inkchip.net. We enter the waste ink key and press OK of it. And after this, this key means to the program, OK, here's the right key you can perform. Show me your performance and reset the Epson printer. That's cool. That's all. The waste ink counter WIC is now reset. The only thing we have to perform now is we have to switch off our Epson printer. So that means reboot it. And after the reboot, we can um, print anymore. That's really cool because if your waste encounters is not resetted, this printer will not print anymore. But now, because of the ink chip adjustment program, everything is fine. So let's go back. The printer is rebooted and we have a look to our waste encounter and the waste encounter should be at O person. And that's right. Good job. But there is something you have to look about. You cannot make this um, easily uh, continue, continue. Of course you can do that, but you have to maintain another part of your printer. 
Otherwise, on, on a day in the future, maybe the ink will drop on your desktop. Okay, so perform this. Let's switch off the apps and printer. And of course, unplug the device. Then unplug device, we can see on the back side of your printer, there is one screw. This screw, you unscrew, okay? And if you unscrew that, um, that uh, screw, you can remove the, um, the good, nice sponge on the back side. This sponge is to, um, to load the ink, which is the waste ink, and if this tank here will be full and it will dips over it, then you have to replace this foam inside. But otherwise, you can use the printer again, again, again. So the only thing you have to do is reset the wasting counters and take a little short look on the back side of your printer that here is enough space for more ink. That's all. That's really awesome. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon soon.